Hey, hey guys, F -f Fire here, bringing you another good game review. This time we're checking out st st Stuffed. This game is currently available in the Xbox Store for a price starting at $12.49. It's developed by w Waving Bear Studio, published by the game publisher, and it's an interesting take on a child's version of the zombie game f f format. How, how, do, how does the game work? So simply, you're p protecting... You're basically you're a teddy bear protecting your person Ellie on procedurally generated m m maps that populate throughout a house, and you have to use various weapons that are created and crafted based on mouse traps, popcorn bags, and all kinds of things in between to protect a door to keep the n nightmares from getting to poor little e e Ellie. Now, as you progress through the game, the game actually will ramp up pretty quick, so you're going to have to stay on your little teddy bear's toes, m m making sure you're constantly exploring, f finding new opportunities, and navigating the, the level accordingly to be able to survive the n night and get to the next day with Ellie still peacefully re relaxing in her bed. Now, along the way, you're going to find opportunities to get various pickups, um, opportunities to upgrade your weaponry, your characters, and everything kind of in, in between, all while fighting gnomes, robots, rubber duckies, and so, so, so many more things that you're going to encounter all, all, along the way. From opening different doorways to finding new pathways to really just delving d deep into anything you can to help give yourself an upper edge, this game is really going to test a lot of your skill and patience all along the way as what seems like a very innocent and delightful game quickly turns into one that's extremely difficult and will test even the most advantageous gamer in their skills and abilities to keep Ellie from w w waking up and, you know, ultimately just not losing the game. I think a majority of the people who are going to first pick up and play this game are going to find themselves, you know, failing and barely getting a f few nights into the game, and it's going to take a lot of skill to m m master all the ways in to getting, frankly, f further into the game and even get beyond what you think <laughs> you were as a gamer when it comes to skill. Now, c uh, control-wise, the game's actually really e easy to play and comprehend and has a really decent little tutorial that will wa walk you through all the mechanics and get you rolling off the ground. Now, the tutorial, although it's a simple and it gets all the basics, doesn't come anywhere near helping to teach you the strategy and the complex and difficult situations that you're going to experience with this game. This game is brutal. It is not one that you should take lightly in the sense of it's going to kick your butt. You need to play this game with the expectation that it's going to kick your butt. And if you come at it with that mentality, you're going to have a really good time playing stuff. Now, if you come into this game to thinking that you're going to kick this game's butt, the game's going to give you a heck of a rude awakening, and you're going to learn every which way on how you're just not a good gamer. Now, all, all that being said, it brings stuff out to be a, a really f a fun, unique, and interesting game that honestly adds a lot of challenge while trying to keep giant Slendermen from waking Ellie up and you can protect her throughout the night. Now, figuring out all your pathways, navigating around, and knowing where to find all the best weapons and everything you need in between are going to be the key things as you play and get along this game and the pivotal experiences of failing, succeeding, and failing again. The game is, like I said, it's brutal. You're going to die. You're going to fail quite a bit, but you're going to have a lot of fun, I think, doing it with a very cute thematic theme that really does help all, all along the way as you just push yourself to see where you can go with stuff. Overall, guys, th that's my thoughts on stuff. I think it's a r really f f fun game. I, I wish the game had online multiplayer. I think that's the biggest drag for me along the way is I can't play this game with f friends and I have to kind of bear at it alone. But it isn't something that's going to ultimately just kill the entire experience. It just kind of would be a lot funner be able to play this with other people instead of just being stuck alone all along the way but it is kind of cool to find all the unique mechanics and everything in the game while you're going through and being able to ultimately say hey i protected ellie and i got everything successfully completed in the game and she didn't die but you know 
that's for another day as you will succeed fail and have so many problems and struggles with this game and it looks like we're gonna fail here while ellie's gonna wake up and i hope you might wake up and check out stuff in the xbox store i appreciate you guys ha ha hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any questions comments or concerns about the game l l let me know down below outside of that have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you next time